Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Now today's video is a little bit different for me. If you do watch my channel regularly, you know that I don't generally do beauty and skincare videos. Um, there's no real reason for that. I've just always kind of focused on fashion. But whilst we've been in lockdown and stuck at home, I've been trying a couple of gadgets. I've been trying an IPL hair removal device. This one's from Kenzie. And also their microdermabrasion tool, which is relatively new. They reached out to me, asked me if I'd like to try them both in view to doing a sponsored video. I was a little bit nervous and hesitant, I've got to be honest, mainly because this isn't really my style of video, but also I'm a real skeptic when it comes to anything skincare or beauty gadgets. Generally, I just don't believe anything's going to work. I'd seen Angie from Hot and Flashy do a video on the IPL device. Now she's a lady who knows what she's talking about when it comes to beauty and skincare. I trust her opinion and she loved it. So I had a pretty good idea that I was going to like it too. And I do. I love both products and I'm really happy with the results I've seen so far. So today I'm going to start with the IPL device how I use it and the results I've seen so far and then I'll skip to the microdermabrasion tool. Okay so this is the IPL device so it's a laser hair removal handset but it also fades age spots, pigmentation, acne too which is brilliant. I've got a little bit of pigmentation on the side of my face it's not too noticeable. haven't tried this on there yet but I'm going to be giving that a go too. For now I've just tried this on my legs, just the bottom half of my legs and I have only tried it on one side so that I could compare the results. But you can try this on any part of your body, your face, the bikini line, it's great for those areas too. Now I've never used anything like this before so I'm reviewing this as a complete newbie to laser hair removal. I was a little bit frightened before I used it really because I was concerned I was going to feel some pain, but also as soon as I start hearing the words hair follicle, it makes me feel a little bit queasy. I know that sounds a little bit silly. I didn't need to be frightened. It was really easy to use and I didn't feel any pain whatsoever. You mustn't wax or pluck before you use the IPL, but you must shave your hair before you use it. You can do it the night before if you've got sensitive skin. You also need to exfoliate the areas where you'll be using it to remove any dead skin cells and that will help with the hair removal. To get started, plug your Kenzie in. It's got a very long cord so you can find the easiest spot to use it. To start it up, you press the green power button, which is on the back, and you use that same button to switch up the intensity level. They recommend using it on level five to get the best results, but it's a good idea to start low and then work upwards after you've used it a few times, just to get a feel of it. You just place the handset on your skin and it'll start flashing pink when you've got it in the right place. And that means it's ready to go. Now you can just pulse certain areas by pressing the button or you can use it in glide mode, which I think is easier on the legs. You just press and hold the button and it gets to work. Now you can work on one area with up to three passes. And a pass is when you run up and down the same area you're treating. Between three and four weeks, you should start to see a difference, but I think it does vary on person to person. I've been using mine weekly now for four weeks and I'm really pleased with the results so far. The hairs that are growing through, I don't think are quite as thick and they look a little bit sparser too, but it can take about 12 weeks for maximum results. So I can't wait to see the difference in my legs after 12 weeks. If you'd like to see a follow up video on that for the results, then do let me know in the comments box below. Also, I've got a $50 off code for you and you can use that on either of the products. As a skincare and gadget skeptic I've been very impressed with the handset. Great results after just four weeks, very easy to use and for me it's been painless too. I've just got one very small criticism and that's just the instruction book. I just found the writing to be just a little bit small, just wish it was a bit bolder but that's it. Otherwise, I think it's fantastic. I was very excited to try this product and been so happy with the results so far. Just like the IPL, I've never used a microdermabrasion tool before, so I didn't really know what to expect. If you're not quite sure what microdermabrasion is, it's the process of removing dead skin cells. But this little tool could also help reduce fine lines, wrinkles, helps reduce and fight acne, but also it can shrink pores. Now I've got combination skin, so my real problem areas are my nose and my chin. I can never put any moisturiser in those areas because I'll just break out instantly. Same with foundation, it's a real problem. Even though I use non-comedogenic foundation, I'll still get spots. But since I've been using this handset, 
I'm noticing I'm not breaking out quite so much after wearing foundation so it is starting to work for me. This is a multifunctional skin cleaning device so it comes with a selection of changeable tips depending on what you want to do. This one is the micro crystalline tip and this one is best for deep exfoliation and removing really dull tired skin cells. After this one my skin always feels rejuvenated and kind of plumped up. The small tip is perfect for specific areas like the nose and the chin. This is the one I've been using the most around my problem areas and it gets rid of all the nasty blackheads and whiteheads too. Now the oval tip is great for for getting the blood circulating and producing collagen. Your face may look a little bit red after you've used this one, but it's just because of the blood circulating. You've got to start with a makeup free, clean face and ideally steam your face first, but you can always just place a, a warm towel on your face just to open up the pores. Choose which tip you're using and decide on the suction level. Level one, I think, is pretty strong, so I've never actually gone above that. With one hand, you just need to pull your skin taut, and then with the other hand, you can start sucking. I start at the bottom and then work upwards. The tricky part, I guess, is just getting the angle right, but, but you'll feel it when it's right. You don't have to apply any real pressure, and you want to try and do really smooth and swift strokes. I find that when you do the other side of your face, it's easier to actually change hands and then you can get the right angle. It's just a very satisfying feeling and afterwards your skin feels lovely, smooth and silky. I just change the tips to do my chin and my nose and I go across rather than upwards. When you're finished, just give them a rinse in some warm water. I'm really pleased with the results I've seen using this, but whatever your skin problems are, blackheads, acne, uh, large open pores, or if you want to target those fine lines and wrinkles, this is a fabulous little beauty tool. If you'd like $50 off, I've got a code for you. It's WTW50, and I'll link that for you in the description box below. And you can use that on either of the handsets, the IPL device or this little microderm abrasion tool. Thanks for watching today. Bye.